Good evening, one and all. I'm Video Game Girl 64, and guess what? I have another battle video for you. <gasps> what a shock! Okay, so this was I don't know. I I, I like this battle a lot because this was kind of hyped up for me. Like I was actually nervous to fight this guy, and then yeah, I actually finally fought him. So I I was kind of excited when I was about to do this battle. So let's see what happened. Starts with my fortress and his Tyranitar, and ugh, it's a sandstorm team. Stupid weather team. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a weather team, and I go with Gyroball because it's super effective on Tyranitar, and then he taunts me, so I can't even set up Stealth Rock, so I'm forced to switch out because there's nothing I can do against this Skarmory. So here comes my Uno you know, Escape because you like, like, Magnet Pull! And he uses spikes, and I'm like, oh no, I'm just gonna throw spikes all over my side of the field. So I use a volt switch, and I almost get it. Lives with, like, a little bit of HP. So here comes my Lutran, 3000. He gets some leftovers recovery, and he switches out to his own Heatran, and I end up using Flamethrower on that, and I just powered up his Flash Fire. But you know what? I have a balloon, and he doesn't, so he hits me with Dragon Pulse to break my balloon. But I can go straight for the Earth Power and one-shot his Heatran, so that's amazing. Because I don't like first-thing enemy Heatrans. Only my Heatran is allowed to be on the battlefield. So here comes this Terrakian, I send out my Squishy, because you know, it's like squishy and stuff. And it takes the close combat like a boss, because it's all squishy. It just absorbs the close combat. And Sandstorm Damage doesn't do much to me. Bleh. Sandstorm Damage doesn't do much to me, because I have leftovers. And here comes Tyranitar, and I use Will-O-Wisp on it, because I wanted to use Will-O-Wisp on the Terrakian. And I'm like, shit, it has Stealth Rocks. So I use Taunt on it, and just like as planned, it's not able to use Stealth Rocks because I use Taunt on it. Score one for me. <sighs> okay, so after Sandstorm and Leftovers, he switches out to his Landorus, and I go for the Surf, which hits for quite a bit of damage, considering I'm not, like, EV'd in Special Attack at all. And he goes for the Earthquake, and that does quite a bit of damage to Squishy, because I'm, like, defensive and whatnot. I don't even remember if I'm def defensive or special defensive or HP. I don't know, I gotta check that. So I kill his Landorus, and here comes Terrakian once again. So I switch out to my Fast Car, which takes the Stone Edge like a boss, but I'm almost dead. So I use Bullet Punch, and I get this critical hit. And I'm pretty sure it mattered. It would have probably survived a little bit of HP if I didn't get the crit. But I still would have been able to kill it later, considering all of my Pokemon are still alive. And I've already taken out half of his team. So, here's a Skarmory, once again. And it uses Roost to get some HP back. Throws some more spikes on my side of the field. And I use the Volt Switch, and I'm able to kill it. So that's really awesome. I'm so happy. And I switch out into my Fortress, because I'm like, okay, enough is enough. I have to get rid of these spikes. And here comes a Scizor, and I'm like, okay. So he uses Swords Dance, and I'm like, fuck. Will this thing sweep my team? Like, it's an amazing revenge killer, like, half of my team. More than half of my team has received damage already. So I'm, like, scared. I send out my Magna Zone, and he uses Swords Dance again, and I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. It could one-shot everything on my team at this point. He uses Swords Dance again, and I'm like, wait, why wouldn't you kill Magna Zone? So I use Hidden Power... And he uses Swords Dance again. Stupid mistake for Rayquaza. Turns out his Scizor was banded, but he was locked into Swords Dance. So yeah, really dumb mistake there. So I'm, I'm happy about that mistake. So his last Pokemon's Tyranitar. And it kills my Scizor. I was gonna bullet punch it, but looks like that didn't happen. So, I end up just switching out to my Hydreigon, and like, focus blasting it in the face, and it's dead, and I won. I, I was actually able to keep five of my Pokemon alive, so that's amazing. I was so scared to do this fight, so I was so happy when I won at the end. And yeah, that's like, pretty damn cool. So, this has been Video Game Girl 64 I shall be back tomorrow with another tournament video. I am over and out. Be sure to check out my previous video if you haven't already, or you can wait for my next one, which is coming soon. Be sure to click on my name to go check out my channel, 
comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!